Well, happy Halloween, everyone. I thought it would be fun for us to take a look at the new Miniverse first ever Halloween series. I also want to talk about the fact that I don't like a few things about this. One, there's only three items. I do not think it would have been hard to make less um, effort on the packaging of the ingredients and then use more effort on more recipes. Because I could absolutely see you using a bunch of different uh, things like we've already gotten, like the red bunt cake or the sprinkles. You could combine that with a bunch of different kinds of Halloween or fall treat ideas without needing to go completely crazy on the packaging. Also, Miniverse has started selling kits that are like groupings of the rarer uh, recipes or even the the housing goods, the lifestyle goods, uh, the rarer ones with the not rare ones. And there's one rare one and two that are not, and you pay $30 for three. So you're not getting a deal. You're just kind of paying extra to collect the ones you want. And they won't let you select one. You have to buy three at a time to get specific ones that you want. Uh, will I be swayed by that? I don't know. The other thing I don't love about this is you know what you're getting. This one will be the candied apples. This one will be a pumpkin pie. And this one will be some sort of drink. I haven't seen a lot of people get this one who bought these in stores. But on Amazon, you could get them as a three-pack with the entire set. Which feels a bit like cheating. I did it anyway because I wanted to see them and I wanted to get the exclusive items for the holiday and make the items for my future Sylvanian Calico Critter Bakery, but I did want to show you guys that there is a difference in these, and MGA is taking a little bit of advantage of people by doing so, in my opinion. Does that mean I don't like their product? No, but I think it's disingenuous. So, you are getting a bunch of very different items, however. We have an adorable boo table, which is adorable. This would be great if you want to, like, change out your toy photography items. And we have a bunch of stuff. We, oh, very cute. We have a themed Halloween doily. We'll see if all of those match. But we have a very cute little ghost to match the boo. I'm guessing that all those will be the same. And it looks like we get... Oh, it looks like this one was our drink. So here's a straw. It's black instead of the usual red. And for the lid, we get a special cap that is Halloween themed as well, which is very nice. I do like that detail, so you can put it over that. But again, you can't because it, it covers it up so much. So you would have to put this on the ground and then cover it. But if you have it on the table, it doesn't make a ton of sense because it hits the top. But I do appreciate that they put a special branded object in there for the holiday. All right, so we have our straw. Here are our options with their recipes on the back. Very cute. And here's our chilled item. And what do we have here? We have Rise and Shine Coffee Company, and it looks like it's a pumpkin latte. Yeah, pumpkin spice latte is what's going to be under that very difficult to remove safety label. I wish that we didn't have to put that on every single one because I'm primarily collecting these for the adorable dollhouse nature of them. There we go. That's much better. I'm trying not to destroy the outer packaging because I have had a couple rip and I was very sad. All right, we got it. Great. So we have our adorable mini stuff. Pumpkin spice latte with a little boo on the back. There's our straw. This feels like it might be our cup. And they've changed all the packaging to like have a spooky day. It's very cute and they did go to a lot of extra effort. So I'm a little less disappointed than I thought I would be by knowing what it is because everything is very different. Like they've had to cast an entirely new lid and cup for this to make our little batty drink. It looks like kitty ears, but bat ears look like cat ears, so. And we have, what's this? Oh, very cute. 
another special, a spooky sleeve. So that's going to be the drink sleeve. That is very, very cute packaging. Let me try to preserve that. Oh, what am I going to do with it? Let's just snip it. Okay, so this is the sleeve for our drink, like you would get at a store to protect your hand. Very cute. And this will be maybe a topping. And this one also says, have a spooky day. Very nice. And we have whipped cream. And it's got a special little jack-o'-lantern face on it, unlike other whipped creams we've gotten. And what will it look like? Just a big giant whipped cream, but we looks like we have some pumpkin spice on top. Very, very cute. And I will be happy to make this one. All right, let's uh, let's do a quick little making of this one, and uh, then we'll do the next. Well, that was absolutely nightmarish. I literally had to open another one to get enough of the resin out. It was the same problem we had in the other candle resins. They put way too thick of a resin. You need really thin pouring resin to do this kind of UV resin work if you want it to do this in a large quantity. Personally, I just, I think it's better as ingredients still. There's so much like esoteric stuff you would not know. It's not designed for most people to succeed. You can see that there's a tongue and groove joint here that should be even, but they don't warn you to not overfill your cup so much that it comes near that edge. And that would just be something you'd have to know by ruining it. And it's kind of a bummer if you're a and you spent $10 to make something that's not perfect. So for that reason, still attest that these are better as ingredients and now i've had to open two even if i didn't want to to be able to finish the one so let us open the next one and see if there's anything different about it oh it does have a totally different table that's really nice i will say that there's a lot of very good effort in the packaging here so i'm going to get rid of the stuff that we already know what it looks like does this one have a utensil maybe it doesn't maybe there is no utensil not sure. This one says have a spooky day again. We have the adorable whipped cream. The tiny kind. Alrighty. We have very cute. Thank you. Have a spooky day. This might be our decoration maybe. It is. And it comes in an adorably sealed like little deli package that I will hate peeling. But I do plan to use these to make like a little end cap for the supermarket so that they can have some themed items for the holidays just sitting on an end cap. We have our pumpkin pie crust. It's a sugar crust. That would be very weird on a pumpkin pie. Typically we do graham cracker crusts for that here. And this one is oh, the little pie stand. Very cute that it's cast in black. And they chose one that's very spider webby, kind of fractal. That's a nice touch. And we have our, oh, very cute. I really like how they put it in a pumpkin pie filling can, like it would come. Like we have pumpkin pie, or just ground up pumpkin 
the most common brand in America is Libby's. Like two or three years ago, there was like a pumpkin pie pie shortage, like the actual pumpkins that you use in the pie. All right, and we have our little pie cutter here. Very nice. This is going to be a, a little terrifying to get into there smoothly, so I might <laughs> grab one of my resin tools. But uh, let's put this one together. I do love that they have different tables, and they did very different packaging. I can see why they only put out three, but I still think that there were ways to make maybe like even just release a cookbook. That would have been cute to release a cookbook with like ways to use the ingredients you have on a new way. I don't know. I feel like they could have done something a little more extensive. But let's put this pie together and see how that goes, trying to scoop resin out of this. I can't see that ending well. Well, horror on horrors. You witnessed that. Uh, I just think that these, at this point, I don't even think that this is safe for kids. Like, even 10-year-olds. This resin is not something to be borked around with. Like, you can really hurt environments and yourself with it. If you're getting it all over yourself and not cleaning up with alcohol and not wiping everything in your possession down. Also, they're using such opaque UV resin that it's very, very, very hard for the light to penetrate deep enough to per fully cure it. So if I squished this as hard as I could, I almost can guarantee you I could get very uncured resin to splooge out somewhere. So I just don't think these are as good, not as ingredients. They're not really super safe for kids <laughs> to begin with. Um, also, they didn't give you anything to hold up this cake topper. It's clearly meant to be like the cake toppers that fit in the actual cakes that we've gotten before. Uh, I, do, I don't know. I did go back through the trash and find the doily to make sure it was also different, and it was. So we have very cute. This is stars. They aren't actually different like they are uh, supposed to be a spider web up there. They're not. But we do have a little doily. I'd also like to point out that there's no cake plate. It did not come with a cake plate. Every pie we've ever gotten, or a pie plate, has come with a pie plate. So that one didn't. All right, well, here is the last one, and we know what it's gonna be because we see it on the outside. But let's see what our cute table is. Looks like it's a cute checkerboard this time. Try to move back a little bit. So we have a very cute checkerboard. We have, let's dig out our doily if there is one, and it's just a checkerboard, all right. So we have a doily and trash. All right, what have we got here? This will be our utensil, and it is not, oh, a tiny spoon? Okay, sure, tiny spoon. We have caramel for our caramel apples. 
Very cute. You could even double dip these if you had other chocolate resin dipping left for like the strawberries. We have adorable crumble topping to dip the apples in. We have a lot of stuff in here. Oh, we have sprinkles, little Halloween sprinkles. Very cute. We have, very cute. So this says Happy Sun Farms, but they've got little poison apples on there. Very cute. Oh, these are adorable. See, this is where the good packaging comes in, where I want to have it on my little shelf for my little calico critters to shop for. I don't want to take them out and make them because they're ugly. Look at this. That's not better. You can't tell me it's better in its made form. It was way cuter when it was in its unmade form. And we have a little tray. Well, I said I would do them all, so I'll do them all. But I'm not happy about it. I want them in there. <sighs> all right, let's do the last one. Well, friends, what can we say? That definitely was the best... Ew. God, it's still not cured. Son of a flipper. Uh, well, this was the best use of UV resin in an application that makes sense for UV resin because it's not uh, opaque one. It's also not, um, you know, three inches thick. So I think the caramel apples are the most successful of these, I still attest that these are better as ingredients because this is better than that. I'm sorry. People can fight me on that. You could also use it on top of other drinks. I think these are adorable. I don't love the way MGA is making it hard to um, get the ones you want. If you're going to sell them to let people pick the ones they want, just sell them kit by kit. Charge $10 for them, sell them kit by kit. Don't force people to buy ones they don't want because you don't want to sell the good ones. That's not okay. So that is my argument against MGA. Otherwise, these are very cute. Each one had issues and things I think could have been done better. But I do really appreciate that they did a very special Halloween extravaganza. And also that each table is different. If they had all had the same matching table, I would have been very cranky. But because you do get a very special and kind of like collector's edition little table for those people who are doing these as a collector's item, I think they're great. Um, otherwise, I think that they're better as ingredients. 
And I think it's a really big bummer that they are not using the appropriate kinds of resin that will pour and make it ooh, safe and or easy for kids to do these. Because this one with the big open tub of resin, not safe. I don't even use resin that way as a person who uses resin and two-part epoxy all the time. I don't use it in a, in a creepy, weird, giant jar. This is not a good way to use your resin and using a weird little scoop to spread it. It's madness. So... I argued that that part, not good. Other parts, great, super adorable. Uh, and I got the other ones just so I can literally have the ingredients to make an end cap in the Sylvanian grocery store so that they can be spooky when they go shopping. This uh, hood was made by uh, Louisa at Luthai Seas Kit. Anyway, I hope to see you in another video and I hope that I have earned a like or a subscribe or even just a comment. If you would like to see some more, click one of the links down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!